I'm going to be doing a review on a Millennium 150 Monster Hang-On. Uh, I'll start off by saying that uh, Millennium tree stands have a high reputation of making great products and uh, I have several other products and I, I like them very so much. Uh, you see a lot of stuff out there, you know, every now and then someone will say something bad about some company, but I mean that's just common, but I have nothing bad to say at all about Millennium. Uh, this is one of the biggest hang-ons that they make. Um, as you can see with the big lounging seat, the big platform. Uh, the platform is 24 inches wide by 37 inches deep. The seat is 20 inches wide by 17 inches deep. It folds up. I got the M100 shooting rail on it. Um, this stand weighs 19 and a half pounds and for a big hang on that big, you can't get much lighter. That's aluminum as well. Um, I'll start off by saying that Millennium has great innovations in their products with the block that you can hang in the tree prior to pulling your stand up and that's something that's I think uh, an absolute great innovation that uh, tree stand manufacturers come out with is Millennium because you can hang your block in the Pacific area and then pull your stand up and then slide it right in and put your carter key through the bottom right here as I'll show you later in the video, but um, this is an absolute, one of the most comfortable stands you'll ever set in. Um, something else I'll mention is every tree stand that Millennium sends out, all the hang-ons, I should say, not everyone, all the hang-on portable stands that they make come with a lifeline. That's something I think is very important. There's no deer, no big game animal that's worth anybody's life. I think you should try to be as safe as possible when you're in the woods. But uh, I'm going to uh, camouflage this uh, stand up here this evening and uh, put a little bit of paint on it. As you can see, it's got like a dark gray finish on it that's glossy kind of. That's just something in particular I like to do to my stands to help camouflage a bigger stand like this that may stick out. and. Uh, Maybe uh, not as appealing, I guess you could say. But uh, I'm gonna be painting it with uh, some just rust oleum camouflage paint. This is uh, tan, and then I got a dark green right there. But a little tip about painting stuff: you can take cardboard and take the time and trace it out, and you can actually make a uh, leaf pattern out of uh, cardboard if you want to get that serious with it. But uh, that's just something I've kept over the years. I've sprayed a lot of stuff with. But anyways, uh, like I said, I got the shooting rail on it right there for gun season or muzzle load or whatever you want to use it for. The seat does fold up and has bungees that attach to keep the stand seat up. But um, that's something else I also talk about is the stand right here. It's got a big Y, as I'll show you later in the video. Also that. Uh, you can adjust so the tree might not be perfect and uh, you can adjust to the level your platform up which is absolutely awesome uh, it's got a built-in foot rest I mean you just can't ask for much more with Millennium but uh, I'm gonna show you before and then after camouflage the spray paint but uh, we'll get to it all right guys now that I'm done with the stand that uh, slapped a little bit of paint on it you know to help camouflage blend it in quite a bit I'm pleased with how it turned out and didn't take but about 10-15 minutes to camouflage it up pretty good. The only thing else I'm going to do is paint my ratchet strap right there that's bronze and then uh, it should be about it. And uh, Millennium, they give you a, a padded shooting rail that goes around the top of it. That's pretty nice. But uh, just Velcro's on. Something else I'll also mention about the stand is it's uh, the seat is adjustable from 16 to 20 inches. So if you're not really the comfortableest in the world with where your stand is positioned and seat height for different sized people like myself, I'm 6'3", I got it jacked up a little bit high so I'm not necessarily knees are not 45 or tremendously bad. but. Uh, I'm extremely happy with this stand and I'll give you all a close up of 
the paint job and see what y'all think. Here's also what I was talking about, the seat is adjustable, you just pull this knob out and the sand can shift quite a bit of a movement for the tree if it's bowed out or bowed in. That's very nice, but I'm very pleased with the, how the stand turned out. That's all you do is cut cardboard out and slap the paint on it. I'm pretty happy. Very nice lock on. As y'all can see how comfortable this stand is, I can sit in it about all day long. That's something I say about Millennium is they're known for their comfortability. And, and it doesn't really matter what kind of stand. You go from the M7 to the M150 here. The, they're all really comfortable when it boils down to it. But these big stands like this, it's like the Cadillac of lock-ons. You won't get no more comfortable. But uh, they're really nice shooting rail. They just pivot loose right here. Tighten it back down to where you want it. And there you are, ready to shoot. That's something I like about this stand is you can put a shooting reel on it like this and it's working, it'll work absolutely perfect. And that's something I think is important when you're especially hunting big deer. I want to be as rock solid as I possibly can though, but Millennium Tree Stands guys, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Go check them out.